Rob, you know that this day had to come. You, you know we had to have a conversation. It's yeah. been a uh, it's been a long time coming, and it's a bit of a it's a bit of a touchy subject. But I think we have to talk about it since the the NACPT East qualifier is coming up. We got to talk about it. Who is the best player in North America? So, um, it's not a simple question to answer. And the reason is that it's very nuanced. Is That's why it's such a good conversation to have. Um, so, first and foremost, I have to say that I think that Punk is the best player in North America. Adam and Punk are not fighting to be the best in North America, right? Trying to be the best in the world and all that. Whatever, I don't care. We are having our conversation. It has nothing to do with whatever their, their aspirations are. So as far as North America, Punk is the best player in North America skill-wise, I would say, and when he's calm and comfortable. If you put a situation, in my opinion, in my opinion, if there's not as much on the line, then nobody is going to be better than Punk. Then you could, but when it now, if you ask me if it's a clutch situation that's needed, like the most clutch situations needed, in my opinion, it's Otto. And I think that that's very clear, right? That's not trying to tear down Punk. There's no reason, I have no reason to do so. I always have given this dude his flowers. I think he's out of this world, you know? And he does have a big win. People talk about him not winning Capcom Cup and Evo, which is true. However, he does he's have a big so win in E-League. Right. Well, I, he's won well so I'm much. saying E-League's, I'm gonna say E-League specifically though, because we know he's won so much, but my thing is different. Like a premier event, which is extremely out of this world difficult to win, right? However, if you're, you know you're going to 70 premier events that year. You know you're going to 7,000 premier events that year. So the pressure of that versus the pressure of, I gotta, this Evo is right now, it's once a year. This Capcom Cup right now is once a year. This is my only chance right here. You know, things like that. Uh, Kumite that just passed, for example. We have seen situations where Punk will either get emotional or get worked up. You know, maybe if he wants to win too bad or he got drama like with the Mr. Mr. Crimson thing or something like that. If you give me Punk versus Mr. Crimson the next day after Mr. Crimson beat him with all due respect, because Mr. Crimson was on fire, because he smoked out on him there oh, too. Yeah. I'll make sure we bring that up. He was on fire. But I think nine times out of ten, Punk wins that. Right. But the moment with all the pressure and, you know, he's shaking and stuff. So that's all about Punk. Now, as far as out on side of things, his biggest strength, in my opinion, is the fact that whether it's against a bronze rank or against the best player on earth, he plays exactly the same. Mm -hmm. And that is extremely tough to do. And that's why, to me, he is the best player in North America if it's a clutch situation in my life. Yeah, I mean, they're both in the same tier. That, that's all there is to it. I don't think you can do a direct head-to-head. -head. And obviously, the best player, that's always like a loaded question, right? That, that's why yes. we're having it on this show, because everyone can have their own opinion, and everyone can debate and come from different angles and approach it from a different way, right? So I think the issue is, Capcom Cup 2019, Idom comes and wins over Punk. Punk had the most dominant year, only rivaled by his more dominant year in 2017, right? And then his off year in 2018 is still one of the best performances of all time in Street Fighter V, right? So there's no yeah. denying that Punk is like, of all time Street Fighter V, the greatest in my opinion, rivaled by Tokido as Me that's too. the one Me guy. Too. That's the one guy he'll bring up to be like, oh, maybe Tokido with results. Because if you look at the numbers, yes, those two are the best. Idom, however, you know, he has the nickname Stoop Kid for a reason because he never left his stoop for years. I was trying to get this guy to get up and stop beating me up online and go to majors for years, and he just didn't travel. When he finally starts putting that effort in and leaving his stoop and going to tournaments in late 2019, he qualifies for Capcom Cup and then wins. And then right after that, we don't get another major appearance between the two because of COVID. So this is where the, the conversation kind of like comes to a halt because all we have is online. So they've been playing online, yes, a lot. And the thing is, does that count? Now, this is where it gets kind of tricky. This is where it gets weird because they've been playing in NLBCs, they've been playing in Intel qualifiers, this, that, and the third. And there's no denying that they're on the same level playing field, right? They're, they're right there. They're right there. Now, 
does lag or things come into you know become a factor in deciding who actually wins that showing yes it does am i going to say this online result is 100 percent the end all be all deciding who's a better player no but you have enough context to determine that these guys are on the same caliber the day to day it could go either way I mean, online item statistically is favored, right? Punk definitely still has wins here and there, but it's statistically item favored online. Am I going to run that to the bank and say this means item is better than Punk? Obviously not. But it's just clear as day that you cannot deny that these two are at that similar level. Now, when you take them versus international competition, I think that's just where we just haven't been able to see that as much, right? We just, we were, we were robbed of this opportunity to see the new generation of IDOM and Punk in the NA scene with the international competition, to see if someone like IDOM could have a similar run like Punk in 2019, 2017, right? We just didn't get to have that, unfortunately. I don't think, I, if we did have offline, I don't think IDOM would have had to, would, would have to run that Punk at, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think, so. I agree. I could, and I'm saying that because I think Punk is better. But as far as a clutch situation, give me out on. If, if, if you can let me invest in a player for a whole year, for a whole CBT year, I want Punk or Taquito. Straight up. P please give yeah, me most one. Most consistent. Of them. Yeah. But if it's cool. if it's a clutch situation, if, if it's a clutch situation, like the biggest event, Punk was supposed to win Evo 2017. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to. Punk was supposed to win Capcom Cup 2019. He really was. I mean, he up, was until up, that too point, old. up until that point, he was dominating IDOM in offline events. He had one loss he maybe in 2017. IDOM soul. Right. Yeah. And then he so and he smoked everybody at that Capcom Cup, which again is giving credit to his skill. Nobody's mm -hmm. hating. Nothing like that. He smoked everybody at Capcom Cup. Then you go against IDOM. This dude, he always destroys. Takedo and IDOM are the most clutch players. That That is what it is. Uh, it's IDOM's cool. a machine. And man, Punk man. is the best skill-wise. Right. Punk definitely has the, the legacy runs. No one can deny he has the, he's the most winningest player. Yes. That's a fact. That's a fact. Idom, he is a machine. This guy just plays at his peak. I It's very rare to see Idom crumble. He just plays the game at such a proficient and like mechanical level. And his decision making is always at that peak. It's always at that peak. Adam is a Capcom Cup champion and has never shown me nerves. I've never seen it. I haven't. He's always just plays mm -hmm. regular, bro. Like he, he always just plays at a, at a hundred. When you play him in Battle Lounge, the dude is just, you know what I'm saying? It, it's the right. same. It's you, you, and he doesn't hide anything. He doesn't. He just he plays his main characters all the time in tournaments. You know, he never even trolls in tournaments. He always goes. There's no OSs. Like if I lose, then I, I was playing. You know, G like I don't play G or something like that. Nah, if he does pick G or something, he's still winning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the, it, it just it is what it is. I just think people are slow to give some give people credit. And it's I'm not the, that's the online era, right? It's the people are you know there's he won Capcom Cup offline, right bro, and oh, we had Street Fighter League, and we, he won Capcom Cup offline, and we facts. had Street Fighter League. So it depends. Does rings matter to you? How much weight does Adam's Capcom Cup championship have versus Punk not having an Evo Championship or a Capcom Cup Championship? Does E League make up for that to that uh, for that to you? It doesn't to me because it's not like that's not a recurring. Right. That doesn't have the same prestige behind it, you know. So I agree. I agree. Yeah. I think we all can agree that I think we are a little bit robbed by you know COVID coming at this. I think we were about to see the beginning of some kind of like a magical rivalry. I think we all missed the opportunity to see these two play with no excuses pure offline pure goodness but what i'm maybe hoping to see is maybe both of these qualify out of the east only one can do it uh for for this event only one and that's where you gotta come clutch but there are two qualifiers who will come out of na east and maybe these two will get the opportunity to play for that high stakes match offline soon yeah it's an interesting type of rivalry because adam doesn't say anything it's more so just Punk will, will talk trash or, you know, like he recently said he had to fake his win in Street Fighter Five history and stuff like that about the intel. But that's Punk, I think, being just extremely competitive. This dude, Adam, is godlike, doing extremely well. And Punk can say that Adam is really good, 
But to him, I'm sure it's no comparison. Like, how can you compare it? Well, we would compare both of them because of results. And, you know, it's, again, like, it's it's a beautiful rivalry. And I think that those type of things push both players to, to greater heights. And we'll see who's pushed to a greater height in this NA East uh, Top 16.